The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Impact segment tonight, we've been telling you that much of the national media wants very much to see President Obama reelected. We put out facts to back that up. You can check it out on Talking Points last night and the Bernie Goldberg segment. If you have any doubts, go to foxnews.com and you can access those. We also believe the Romney camp has noticed our analysis and is now beginning to confront some of the mainstream media. Now, earlier this week, Romney supporter John Sununu, the former governor of New Hampshire, objected to CNN asking him about President Obama's birth certificate. Why is CNN so fixated on this? Well, Why don't we talk about the jobs issue in this country? Sure, and we're going to get to that and, in a moment, the disastrous, but let's start with And the disastrous, you, but you, you, it's CNN that wants to bring it up. I don't want to bring it up. <laughs> Mitt Romney has made it clear. <laughs> Mitt Romney has made it clear that he believes that President Obama was born in the U.S. You had Donald Trump on last night, and now you are asking the question this morning. Well, it's here's, CNN's fixation. So you don't, you don't think that that's a big deal, that that person consists Consistently talks about the fact that he believes the president of the United States is not a citizen of the country? I think it's as equivalent an issue as Bill Maher, who gave a million dollars uh, to President Obama, uh, talking with such a foul mouth about women. But that's, that's you can't pick your supporters so Donald... in this country. The fact is, is that this country has a jobs problem, and supporters of the president, like CNN, keep wanting to talk about other issues. Ooh. The question this evening, does Sununu have a point? Joining us now from Boston, Democratic strategist Marianne Marsh, in for Leslie Marshall this evening. From Fort Worth, Texas, Janine Turner, radio talk show host. So, Janine, Donald Trump's a big Romney guy, and he thinks, of course, the birth certificate deal is legitimate. So why shouldn't reporters ask anybody in the Romney camp about that? Well, I, I think it's, I don't know, <laughs> I guess they could, but I love what Sununu, I love that he got in there and debated it because they would like to spend the entire interview on it because it serves the president well. And as we know, the mainstream media serves the president and President Obama, so they want to stay so on it because you they buy can't into, actually... You buy into that Soledad O'Brien, the CNN anchor there, um, wants to divert attention away from the bad economy with this uh, birth certificate issue. You buy into that, that she consciously w goes on her show and says, you know what, I don't want to talk about the economy because it's going to be bad for President Obama, so I'll petty fog the issue, word of the day, all right, with this <laughs> bogus stuff. You're buying that, Janine. I, I believe it. I believe that they want to monopolize the time on the interview with that because then nothing can be pinned down, such as that Obama wants to fundamentally change America. Okay. They like ambiguity. They All like right, now, it. Marianne, it's certainly uh, this is reminiscent of Newt Gingrich uh, attacking in South Carolina at the debate another CNN guy, John King, for not talking about anything but Gingrich's ex-wife saying that uh, he wanted an open marriage and being in a hot tub with 18 women or whatever it was, I forget, something like that. All right. And Gingrich wailed on CNN and he won the primary. That's exactly what Sununu is doing here, is he not? Exactly right. When you pick a fight with the media, you avoid picking a fight on a topic you don't want to engage on, or in this but case, why a would fight he want to engage? So why would the former governor voters? of New Hampshire, who's openly said he doesn't think that Barack Obama did anything wrong in his birth certificate, why would he want to engage? Why would he want to discuss that, Mary? And he's getting up early to discuss stuff he believes in, like the economy. Why does he want to talk about some frivolous thing like that? Because he can score more political points by picking a fight with the media when people no, but, then but ignore I'm not, I'm the issue at hand. Don't you agree that Sununu has a legitimate point not wanting to discuss that stupid thing? I think if you're an, a Romney surrogate being asked about a Romney surrogate, you have to answer for the Romney surrogate. He chose Why, not to Why do would that Sununu because... have to answer for Donald Trump? Why? You don't have. I'm not, I'd never hold you accountable for what uh, Bill Maher says. I would never do that to you. It, <laughs> on a day where Donald Trump appeared with Mitt Romney in Nevada at a fundraiser, it was the topic of that 24-hour news cycle. Just when like, Sununu just like the, the Romney campaign, just like the new King Rich wife on Nightline. Then you're saying it's the same thing. Right. It overrides well, what, all of this bad economy. Let's uh, let's talk about the stupid birth certificate. Every, you know, we, every, that, you know. Let's. Let's put it this way. Everyone's playing the same game here, okay? If you pick a fight with the media, yeah. the voters ignore the topic at the hand, they assume you agree with them, and they turn their anger on the media while you get to deliver the message you want, which is exactly what John Sununu did. Okay, that well, way, what's it's a, a more win, important win, win message? For Romney. What's a more important discussion, Marianne? The economy or the birth certificate? 
I think for most people, it is the economy. Okay, However, so why the would, why would the CNN in, anchor then lead with the birth certificate? Why? Because in the last 24 hours, Donald Trump had flogged the birth certificate issue again and again and again, year five of okay, this. Okay, but, but, but Trump has nothing to do with, with Sununu. Romney, they have nothing to do with each other. But who had appeared with Mitt Romney on the night he clinched the nomination. That made it timely. All right. Now, Janine, um, I'm a little bit surprised that you feel that the, the CNN people, like, m m let's, let's meet together, so how can we help Barack Obama today? I don't think it works that way. Now, that being said, do I think Ms. O'Brien is sympathetic to President Obama? Absolutely. All day long, every day of the year. But do I think she meets and says, oh, how can I advance his agenda? I don't think she does that. Do you really think she does? I think the liberal press definitely wants to support President Obama and help him win. The case in point, he's never really been vetted. There are issues and issues upon issues that are still mysterious that had never been, they didn't vet him last year. Like things that happened to, to President uh, Obama that are let, let slide, when if it had been Bush, they'd been all over it. So I think definitely they, they absolutely want to serve the president and get, see him get reelected. And it slants that way. Whether they, do you think it's conspiratorial? Do you think, do you think the CNN age. people and the network people actually meet and say, how can we help Obama today? Do you think they do that? Um, I think it's just in, I think it's just a part of their DNA. It's part of their <laughs> DNA. So there's no official meetings. They just kind of see each other in the hall and give them a little wink. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, well, look, I just think it's, a, I think it's, I'm glad he did that. It's time for Americans to stand up at whether it's the lunch table, Republicans and conservatives, we're naturally conservative. It's time to get in the fray and, and really take well, on this debate because if we don't, it's serious consequences. I'll for tell America. you what, I, I do believe the factors reporting on the media has influenced the Romney campaign and they are going to be confrontational toward uh, the media, the TV media, if they feel that they're in the tank for Barack Obama, and that'll be very interesting. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.